एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम बायो हॉली होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द फाइलम एस्केलमेंथिस सो बिफोर जंप इनटू दिस वीडियो आई वांट टू रिमाइंड यू दैट आफ्टर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो मेक श्योर यू चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो देयर आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड द लिंक फॉर सेल्फ असेसमेंट टेस्ट ऑन टुडेस लेक्चर नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so the ascelminthes are commonly called as round worms because their body appears circular in the transverse cross section and these circular appearances in transverse plane gives the common name round worms and also this phylum is represented by about 15000 species of round worms and now we are going to talk about the habit and habitat and other basic features of the ascelminthes now this is very interesting as the ascelminthes can be free living or parasitic like the endoparasite so the free living round worms do not live within other animals because they are independent and they may be terrestrial or marine like the rabbits and the parasitic ground worms live in the plants or animals like ascaris next the basic characteristics like the ground worms are bilaterally symmetrical and the ascelminthes have the organ system level of organization so the organs associated to form distinct system concerned with a specific um, physiological function like digestion respiration circulation ex- excretion and so on so they have the organ system level of organization and the round worms are the triploblastic animals but they possess pseudocoelom okay not the true coelom they possess the pseudocoelom because their body cavity is present but it is not lined by the mesoderm instead the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm hence they are called as the pseudocoelomates and they have the elongated cylindrical body which tapers towards both ends you can see this in this figure now the digestive system So the digestive system of round worms is complete having two separate openings one is mouth and the other is anus so the alimentary canal is a straight tube extending from mouth at one end to the anus on the other end of their body and they also have a well developed muscular pharynx you can see these things in this picture so The food of the parasitic round worms consists of blood, limb, partially or fully digested food particles which is sucked by the rhythmic pumping action of their muscular pharynx. Okay? Now the excretory system in the round worms. So an excretory tube is present in round worms which removes the body waste through an excretory pore. Here it is the excretory pore you can see this and this excretory tube collects the body waste from the body cavity and removes it throughout the excretory pore okay hence the round worms possess anus because they have complete digestive system and as well as the excretory pore and like the other lower animals which we have studied till now so the phylum lower to the ascelminthes lack the complete type digestive tract in them okay now the reproductive system in the round worms so their sexes are separate because they are unisexual so their fe- males and females are distinct externally and often males are shorter than the females and their sperms and ova are produced by different individuals so only sexual reproduction can be takes place in the in case of round worms 
and also their fertilization is internal and in case of development some develop through an intermediate larval stage and some directly without larval stage so both direct and indirect development can be seen in case of roundworms and in case of direct development the young ones resemble the adult ones okay now the roundworm related human disorder as we all know that the roundworms are endoparasite so they can cause different human disorders like the elephantiasis so the filarial worm blocks the lymph vessels and this causes the massive swelling and deformities like in this figure eye worms are also close relative to the filarial worms and most often transmitted by the biting insects like the mosquitoes okay next is the parasitic blisters the gunia worms form the ulcerating blisters in human skin okay and the next one is parasitic anemia so the hookworm causes this kind of anemia so the larva invade human hosts by using the hooks to burrow through the skin of bare feet to find their way into blood vessels and from there they circulate up to the lungs where they burrow into the air passages of lungs they then travel into the throat where they are swallowed and come to anchor into the intestines okay and these parasites feeds on blood leaving the host like the human short of blood and therefore short of oxygen due to the reduction in the number of red blood cell and causing the parasitic anemia okay now these are two examples of the ascleminthes like the pin worms and the ascaris lumbricoides okay so here is an interesting fact about the round worms that is the mature female ascaris produces as many as 2 lakh eggs per day which have a lipid layer that makes them resistant to the effects of acids or alkalis and that is why the, these eggs can remain alive in the moist soil even for about 10 years or more than 10 years now if you have any doubts or questions related to today's lecture then ask me in the comment section below and if you want to do your self assessment test then must visit the description box there is a link for the self assessment test so that's all for today if you find this video helpful then give it a big thumbs up and share it with others and if you are new here then hi myself ankita vishwas your bioeducator Please subscribe to our channel Bioholic and hit the bell icon to get for the notifications of our upcoming videos. So, thanks for watching and till then take care and keep watching Bioholic.